What's up guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Happy, Merry, Christmas, Holiday, Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. Even us agnostics and atheists can celebrate the holidays and enjoy. Totally different meaning for us, but we can enjoy, which I do. So today I'm going to just show you one little item that I got. Uh, I did want a new GoPro. I wanted a GoPro. But what I got instead was this right here. Now, I know it's another budget action camera like the one that I have been using for two years now. Uh, the one that I use every day is the I eight it's the A I Q I U. However you want to pronounce that, don't know what it is. But it's been good. It's been reliable, I'd say for the most part. Once in a while it'll freeze up and I have to reboot it. But that's not very often. Um, it's been real reliable. This one here is called the Dragon Touch. Ooh, rah, dragon touch. Rah. Now, what comes in this box is the normal goodies. Now, I've already unpacked pretty much everything I need, and I put some other stuff back in. You got your typical little pack here. That's where the camera came in. Then you got the other little box. You open it up, and it was all full of goodies, all kind of stuff. I've left some of them out, some of the stuff that I'll use. Uh, the rest of it, I'll put in here for safekeeping. I try to keep all my stuff, because you never know. Alright. And it's basically, uh, it's your typical average everyday budget camera. Except, it does have a few more options than my current one that I use. So let me go over a couple of things. Uh, it has a 16 megapixel uh, still image camera. It has a touch screen, which works really well. Uh, it's You can go down in the water, of course, with it, with the little housing. All of them have that. And it has Wi-Fi, and I believe it has something else, but I don't remember. No, I think it's just Wi-Fi. Uh, the image sensor, of course, 16 megapixel CMOS sensor. The video is 4K at 30 frames per second, 2.7K at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 60 frames per second, 720p at 120 frames per second. Uh, I think that's the only thing I'm not crazy about is the 1080p because that's what I use. I don't do 4K or 2K because my computer can't handle it. Uh, I wish the uh, 1080p li uh, did like 24 or, uh, or 30 uh, frames per second because that's... I think that's what I use on uh, my current one. Of course, the, the photo does 16 megapixel, 12, 8, 5, and 2. Uh, it's got a 2-inch display. Um, of course, it's running the Android and the iOS, the Wi-Fi option there. Uh, the lens is adjustable view angle. I did, I did look in the menu. It looks like you can do some different settings on that. Of course, the, mem uh, the memory... Is normal it can use up to a 64 gig and of course a class 10 is recommended uh, the batteries are a little are a little less underpowered than the ones that I've been using uh, these are a 1050 uh, MAH I can never remember what that uh, stands for uh, I know what it stands for but anyway it comes with two um, and of course it's waterproof with the case uh, I've seen some reviews online and the reviews look really good uh, it's the same whenever I bought this little uh, budget action camera here the reviews look good so I got it and I think for the most for most people these budget cameras are okay now I'm kind of at a point where I really do uh, I, I would like to get the GoPro Hero 8 uh, just because there is going to be a difference in image quality and there's differences with the options and and uh, these types of things and uh, not all these cameras handle video and uh, picture quality the same or even audio for that matter 
Uh, plus the, the new uh, GoPro Hero 8 has image stabilization built in, which is really cool. That's really a good option, and it works pretty well. This here is the camera. It looks like every other little action camera. And the, there, there, and again, the touch screen works really well. Uh, matter of fact, I can show it to you right now. We'll pop this off and this a little, the battery compartment's a little uh, touchy to get off, a little bit. A little bit hard to get off there. But you stick the battery in, turn that on. Now I don't have a memory card in here because right now I've only got one little memory card and it's in the camera I'm using. So we'll uh, power it on. And of course, it's going to probably display that there's no memory card. And uh, but uh, you can see the options. You can scroll through. You can even use the side buttons to go through. And you have settings and stuff like that. You can use the buttons to scroll through, or you can do like so. That's probably my favorite thing. Uh, that's what every camera needs. No, that little, my other little camera that I'm using here doesn't. And uh, it should. They all should have that. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. That's going to be nice to have. Uh, it has a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. It's nice to have. Um, one other thing that you'll notice is on this it has a standard uh, tripod mount built in that's great every friggin camera should have that every camera should have that that camera does not this one does that means I don't have to have any sort of a case or anything for this camera to put it on a tripod normally you do you have to have some kind of little case uh, whether it's a case like this or uh, the case that's on that one now, uh, some kind of a clip case, uh, shell, whatever you want to call them. So that's great. And it is a glass lens. Not all lenses are glass, but that's a glass lens. Uh, the lens on this one here is uh, glass as well. So that's a plus. That's nice to have. Um, it did come with a remote, which I use all the time. This one is for this camera and what's amazing is they're both on different frequencies uh, so I can use them both at the same time and it you know and each one controls each camera that is so cool that's gonna really be a very uh, neat thing to try to play with so I'm pretty happy guys pretty happy and of course you get the vast array of your little your all your little you know, whatever's your accessories and stuff. And like I said, there's more in here. So I just wanted to just uh, kind of do a slight unboxing on that. That's what I got for Christmas from my one of my sons and his girlfriend. And very, very, very appreciated. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. So, yeah. Eventually... Uh, within the next day or two, I'll do some video footage and, and all that with the camera. And we'll test her out for good, see how she does. And uh, I'll give you my review on it. As of right now, I'm happy. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned in the video, which I might have, but uh, the batteries from this camera also fit in this camera and, of course, vice versa. Now the batteries in the in my old camera that I'm using here are a little bit stronger, but they run the same um, volt. I believe that's the word I'm looking for. Let me see. Yeah, they're both 3.7 volt, but uh, 
but the batteries in my old action camera are a little stronger than these. Now what's that, what's that going to affect? I don't really know the severity of it until I try. To be honest, those batteries in that camera right there don't last that long as it is. So it's not like they're fantastic. So anyway, alright, I'm done rambling on. Guys, hope you had a good Christmas. I hope you got a lot of gifts. I hope you got to give a lot of gifts. I hope you got to eat lots of food. I hope you had lots of laughs, good times. Uh, remember, that's what it's all about, in my opinion, is all that good stuff. Uh, you can celebrate it for what you do. I hope you enjoy the video. I uh, hope you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. I do all this because I enjoy it. And I want you guys to enjoy it and get inspired from the things that I get to do and share with you. So, guys, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even when getting to play with new action cameras. We'll see y'all later. Have a good day.